Hey, Zach Henderson here, and today we're talking dips, AKA the upper body squat. Dips are really one of the most powerful exercises you can do to develop both strength and size in the chest, shoulders, and triceps. Unlike other presses that have your arms moving overhead or out in front of you, the dip works with a press downwards with the arms. And this puts a unique line of stretch and tension through the chest and the shoulders. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to progress into dips, some common mistakes to watch out for, and training tips so that you can get the most out of every rep. Now dips are one of the more challenging of the basic calisthenic moves, so I wouldn't suggest getting started with these progressions until you can perform at least 10 strict bodyweight push-ups. You can perform dips on bars, rings, or even between chairs or boxes. The rings will really challenge your stability, so I would suggest building your foundational strength and technique in more stable environments. We'll start with the assisted dip lockout. Keeping your feet on the ground or a step, push your arms out straight absorbing as much of your weight as you can confidently hold. Slightly protract and externally rotate the shoulders by pushing them down away from your ears and corkscrewing the arms out. Keeping the triceps strongly engaged, tiptoe your feet back and forth as you flirt with supporting your full body weight. And now we'll add assisted partial reps. Again, using your feet for support, begin the dip motion by bending the elbows and allowing the chest to sink and drift slightly forward. Slowly add more range of motion until your biceps and forearms touch. Add an extra challenge by planting only one foot at a time. Once you're confident with a full range of motion, you can perform unassisted dip negatives. Control the descent supporting your entire body weight. At your deepest comfortable position, replant the feet to help push yourself back up to the lockout. Much like with the pull-up, if full dips are too challenging, you'll want to spend a lot of time with the negatives to build strength and tissue tolerance through the arms and shoulders. Of course, the assisted dip machine is very useful if you have access to one. Just be sure to move at a slow tempo, especially on the way down. A few tips before we move into full dips. First, be sure if you're using bars that they're not too wide to the point where you're overstretching the chest or too narrow to the point where you feel all scrunched up on the way down. Experiment to find that sweet spot that really lights up your triceps, but also has your shoulders feeling safe. For the rings, you'll generally want to keep a very narrow grip, actually scraping your sides with your wrists. This will be safest for your shoulder stability, plus the rings will naturally move in and out to match your individual pressing groove. Speaking of grip, no matter what you're dipping from, be sure to press from the heel of the hand and keep a very tight grip, much like how we coach with the bottoms up kettlebell press. Now that you're ready to tackle full unassisted dips, simply work them at low reps, even just two or three at a time at a slow controlled tempo. Once you can knock out 10 reps at a time, you can make tweaks to your torso angle. Tipping the torso down in a push-up-esque position will place more emphasis on the pecs. You can accomplish this by raising the feet up behind you or by piking the hips back and allowing the legs to counterbalance forward. Conversely, keeping the torso upright will preferentially target the triceps. Now, if dips give you shoulder or elbow tweaks, there are plenty of other options to consider. But as long as things feel good, dips are an amazing way to build strength and size through the upper body. If you're a minimalist in your training, the dip makes for a solid main pushing exercise. It covers all of your pressing musculature and is a logical progression from the push-up. Dips are also a great assistance exercise for traditional barbell lifts like the bench press and military press. 
And of course, if you're a calisthenics enthusiast, you're gonna need solid dip strength to master the muscle up. And that does it for the mighty body weight dip. If you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Wishing you all the best in your training, and we'll see you in the next video.